know what I... No, I know what you know. It's this month's Taco Fresh Merchman Update for you. <laughs> First of all, let's see what our patrons voted on last time. Last time. It's a Beer Bros Socks. I know you like it. I like it. Sticky. Since it was chosen by our patrons, that means you can go buy it at superbeerbros.com. So go over there and buy it unless, you know, you're a soft taco or something. <laughs> Look at what our patrons are voting on for the next limited edition merch. <laughs> Number one, first, is a Sonic Adventure poster by Jetpack Dragon. That's right, Jetpack. <laughs> it's a Super Beer Bros. Penny Pack. <laughs> it's uh, letting our Super Beer Bros artist Sean draw you whatever he wants on the cover of a Super Beer Bros sketchbook. <laughs> Must be a taco supreme because I'm feeling creamy. Taco phrase is creamy. So if you want the winning item, then go ahead and sign up for Patreon at patreon.com slash superbeerbros and you will get the winning item for free. That's right. Go there. I live there. It's cool. We hang out. Just vote and sign up and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Said I was going to do it, didn't you? You would like to see these episodes raw and uncensored in their purest hard rock NSFW form, then subscribe to our Patreon at any level. We did our best with the YouTube safe versions. Sometimes the gameplay will sound a bit funky as we dissected out the game's music. Enjoy. We're the Beard Bros. This isn't Japan, but it may as well be. We're tearing up these streets. I think it's supposed to be, at least. I mean, it's like... It's like fictionalized Japan with these districts that don't exist. You know Tokyo what I mean? Toe. Oh Tokyo man, two. I just realized we've what? never like played as one of these American characters. Didn't we? In oh, in well, Japan. We in Japan, we got to do oh. it now. What's this guy's name again? Cash. What, kid? <laughs> he called his kid. Hey, kid. What are they in the water or are they flying? What's going on here? Oh, okay. They're skimming, dude. You never skimmed? Dude, we're just straight up fighting Hydra now. If anybody can do it, it's this guy. Hydra? I love the idea of Hydra. I love that they exist. I, I don't understand the outfits. Oh, you mean like uh oh my god, there's so much green on this stage. There's like I really love like to do this. here. Something about this reminds me of like Johto. Yeah, it's uh, like the lighting. Yeah. Do you remember like Jin 2 was the first Jin that was like do 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 that little twilight thing going on, you know? Uh, yeah. Dude, do you think do you think what is there like a name? Is there like a phrase for like the thing that Pokemon Gold and Silver does and that Left 4 Dead does where they like include the last game? Oh, oh, uh I see what you're saying. Um, no spoilers. Red Dead Redemption full on does like the same exact thing in the sequel. Did you just say a, no spoilers and then say, but here's the thing. I mean, I'm not going to talk about like how or why or what happens. I'm just saying the map from the first game is also in the second game late in the game, which is like a really cool, crazy thing for a big open world game to do. Yeah, I don't know if there's a name for that. Whoa! Dublin. 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 Ireland. I can't go up there. It's out of our jurisdiction. London, England. Oh, shit. So they're sniping out here. They're straight up sniping people. That's crazy. I don't, like, I, look. 1999, if you saw this guy in Japan, if the Japanese saw this man, yeah, they would lose their minds. Have you heard of this legendary steakhouse in Japan that's like famous? Do they shoot at big black guys there? Well, not just big black guys, and they don't shoot them, but it's like the, uh, the steakhouse is famous for like 
uh, wrestlers go into it. What? Okay. Like big boys, like not not necessarily Japanese nationals, but like also like you know, <laughs> like Hulk Hogan and shit. Like, okay. There's like this. Fa- I forget the name of it, but it's like this thing. You can like go there and, and they and they have like pride in being this like restaurant where big, huge Western dudes go. All right. All right. Cool. Shout me out in the comments if you know what the hell I'm talking about, because I, I would love to remember what the fuck that is, because I think that's such a neat thing that they have this, like, steakhouse, and the steaks are, like, mediocre, apparently, but it's just, oh, like... Oh, really? But it just feels like, it just feels like, you know, it's it's people doing... I, I love... My, one of my favorite things is American restaurants in other countries. All right, American-themed restaurants? Yes, 100%. Yeah. The yeah, you like to see how they view us. The Cajun burger that I had in in uh, in uh, Sandefjord, Norway, mm-hmm. uh, was had guacamole and tortilla chips on it. Sure, sure. <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. I guess. <laughs> they, they nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know how they. <laughs> Welcome down the to the Bayou. It's not even taste, the same taste country. in the Southwest. <laughs> There you go. Watch out for them there crawdads and chupacabras. They'll get you. Zydeco music playing. Dude, crawdads and chupacabras. Somebody write that. All right, we're cruising. Like, honestly, if this happened one day in Japan, right? If a guy like this was just doing his thing, this would be legend for decades. Yeah. Only thing is, I think there's like maybe 10 guns in the entire country of Japan. This is them. They all got them. <laughs> Look, <laughs> once again, if, the, if this happened, they'd be like, get the guns. Which guns? Shoot all this guy. All of the fucking guns. John Malkovich. All of them. Uh, get every, uh, we were vibing on John Malkovich get pre-episodes. every gun available and I use want it. you to get every you fucking mean. gun that you have, sir. Am I, I am I, I a fucking moron to you? I think he moves his mouth, but his voice comes out yeah. of his nose. I, I think I, I think you're right. Like he moves his mouth a lot. There's a lot of mouth movement, like lip movement. Yeah. But he talks from the back of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. Also, this man played Lenny. Or uh. Yeah. 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 He did. Against uh, Gary Sinise, right? Yeah, the the what? I, what? Gary Sinise is another guy who's like, he has such a he has such a vibe. Oh. He's like I don't a, know what that means. He's like a character actor who is himself like a very like impressionable guy. Like you can do his impression. Gary oh, Sinise. I see. Yeah, idiosyncratic. Yeah, in another life, Gary Sinise could have been Wolverine. I think they were thinking about him at one point. He's he's a pretty good. Like '90s Gary Sinise, he could be Wolverine. He also has sure. the vibe of uh, what's his name, uh, Liev. Oh, oh, Schreiber. Yeah, Victor. What? Uh, <laughs> Liev Schreiber plays uh, Victor Creed in. Uh, oh, in- that was you. I see. That was your impression of Hugh Jackman screaming yeah. Sabretooth's name. Yeah, yeah. You nailed it. You got it, Alex. I'm there. You fucking nailed it. Full circle. I'm reading that Avengers run right now where Victor Creed is on the original Avengers. Oh my god. Ugh. You mean like, what, like World War II era? It's like, before it's that? like, it's some like weird ass thing where Nick Fury is there. Because, you know, Nick Fury is like weirdly ageless. Sure. And, and uh, the president's like, we need an Avengers team. And it's like Nazi hunters. But it's yeah, like spy, spy hunter ass Avengers. I got you. Yeah, but it's in like the '60s, and it's like, oh, the '60s. Yeah, it's Sabretooth and uh, and uh, Craven and the like old man Silver Sable and oh, okay. uh, Namora. That's cool. Weird team. Oh my god! And They're what's his out name? Out here, dude! What a jetpack, too. I'm gonna fuck up this town, though. That's not actually a stand-up cardboard thing. That's actually a kid who's just too scared of this guy. (laughs) I think you've got the bit of the episode so far. That was the funniest thing I've heard all day. (laughs) That's great. He was like, oh! oh." (laughs) 
Look at this. This is chaos. If, if this happened in actual Japan. It would Japan, be like Godzilla movie. It, it would set racial relations back in Japan decades. Do you remember decades. in Do you remember in The Lost World? Uh, of like, the sequel to Jurassic Park when like there's a T-Rex in San Wait, Diego. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you, did you specify that so that I would understand or because like that was an official logline or some shit? No, I was just I was just throwing that out to make sure people were on my on my wavelength. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was yeah. oddly considerate of you. I feel you. Okay, yeah. got it. Lost World as in Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World by Steven yeah, Spielberg with Jeff Goldblum. Uh... There's a scene where the T-Rex gets out and he's like in San Diego. It's like the weird like extra third act of the movie that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, I remember that one, the fourth act, yeah. Yeah, and uh, literally like there's a scene where like in the downtown district of San Diego, which yeah. is maybe the least Asian place in America. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> like, okay. There's, there's like a group of Japanese businessmen that like do the Godzilla bit. Of like, oh, Godzilla! do they? Yeah. Little, like I mean, slightly racist joke, you know? Yeah, it's pretty low hanging fruit, yeah. but I, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah. All right. But I feel like this guy could, I feel like this guy could make it happen. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy is kaiju. Yeah, he's a little too big for everything in this country. Yeah, he's like fucking Clifford over here. His stereo is bigger than most movie theater sound systems in Japan. This dude will like fuel myths for decades, man. I'm telling you, you and came also, back. Like, if you came back a hundred years from now, he's gonna be on murals somewhere. Yeah, and also, look at the size of his goddamn shoes. Yeah, dude, you can like house a family of three in there. I was talking to you the other day. I, I think we were talking on the Dreamcast show about this place I used to oh. go called Cervelos Sports Bar, right. mm-hmm. and uh, one of the things that was there is they had Shaq's shoes. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen that shit? I've never seen Shaq's shoes. Like you or like any basketball player's shoes cuz you realize you think, you know, oh, those are some pretty big dudes. Right. Uh and then you see their shoes and you can like wear it on your whole face like a helmet. Yeah, I like, recently oh bought God. some new shoes. Yeah. Uh that are like bigger, like way bigger than probably I need them. Yeah. Uh Guess how what size they are. Uh I'm just trying to... I don't know what size feet you have. 14? Oh, man. So that's, like, my regular-ass shoe size. That, that like, fits. Did I actually guess your shoe size just now? You guessed my shoe size, but now, you, you know, I'm always asking you to guess, like... not the actual size of your shoe? Not the size of, like, the ones that I bought that to be too big. 16. 17. They're 16s. Size 16, dude. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, man. That's a big shoe. That's a mad yeah. light of a shoe. Yeah, I could crush your cat with those. Watch yeah. out, everybody. I'm a 12. Don't let it get near me. I don't know why I said that. I love cats. I'm a 12. How does it feel to be such a little man? I'm just fucking with you. I am a pretty little man. I don't know, man. You're kind of a big guy. I have petite features. (laughs) Fair enough. Yeah, I'll never forget when we did that show. And I asked. I think I asked. What your most like sexy part of your body is, and then I think very quickly you were like my legs, and my calves, and dude, then yeah. like, and then I saw Kelly behind you, like your calves. That's what it was, and I yeah. saw Kelly behind you like immediately close her eyes and nod, like mm-hmm, it's true. And then I think Amanda did it too, and I'm like, all right, clearly I'm fucking missing something because I've seen this legs, this nigga's legs plenty of times, <laughs> and I, you know, I, I you know, it's, it's like great. Good job, guys. If you watch me I, walking down the street, it looks like somebody photoshopped my legs off and replaced them with Gary Sinise's legs. Once again, you're invoking the Sinise, man. Dude, okay, I know he's famous for not having legs in his biggest role, <laughs> but I promise him he's got good legs, too. That's why they took him off. They were too good. It they was, were like, it was well. really distracting. They were like, this guy can't have legs? Come on. Tom Hanks was like, ah... Uh, is there something we can do about this? He said, they're too good! I can't handle these legs! Dude. They're too pretty! The scene, the scene in Castaway where he's like, hears, he hears like a sound in the bushes. Like his first yeah. night on the island. He's like, who is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the most that there is. That's real. Yeah. That's super real. The Tom yeah. Hanks goofy screen. Oh, man. We've, I think we've watched we too many movies. I think we've seen too many movies. Are you talking about the fact that we don't really relate to each other when we talk? We just remember movies we've seen? Here's the thing. We have known each other for, what, 
15 years, 12 yeah, years. Yeah, long, long time, long yeah. time. I feel like we are we are in sync. I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you at this point. Well, if you ask some more questions about me, you might find out some shit. Like, let me get, let me tell you this. Bet you didn't know what size shoe I wore until today, did you? I didn't think I did. Right. So there you go. Yeah. Apparently, there's still some more to paint, but I think we've been all we haven't been to every area. Does it not we just show it? Or you have to be there to see the map for that part. You have to like be there, but it does show you like we're here, but it shows that like, oh, oh see? shit. Okay. We've, we've officially moved on to last area. This is the, the helicopter area. One where they spray were per minute. Okay. You got this. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll be able to handle it. Man. Also, we, we've kind of been talking over it, but the music in this stage has been murdering it. It, it's like putting me in like a vibe that I like don't normally have like I'm like feeling I feel like I'm like doing a live show or something like it just feels fresh feels good We're crushing it. I can't wait for the there's gonna be a new actual jet set game now too, right? What official? I heard something about I know there's gonna be the the lethal league one. We talked about this Right, right, right. But right. I heard something about maybe there's another one Dude, there's no paint in here like none and what's your take on this? There was a thing going around on Twitter the other day. I don't know if you saw that was like people were like, yo, Jet Set Future better soundtrack even than this. Uh, here's the thing. I feel like I only played that one. Oh, oh, man. It, yeah, that was almost cool. Uh, I, I only played that one game once. So, like, I don't even remember the soundtrack. I gotta I gotta say, I kind of agree. Like, I'm not shitting on this by any means. I think this soundtrack is fucking fantastic. But you're telling me you've played both of these games enough to, like, have an opinion on it. I well, I've listened to the soundtracks. Like, oh, like, I like, see. uh, I was, I got into this briefly when we were doing the Dreamcast show, but the, uh, oh. the Xbox, the original Xbox, like, was the next Sega console. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. if you're a Sega kid and you're looking for this feeling to recapture this feeling, look sure. no further than the original Xbox. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of truth to that. Panzer Dragoon Orta. Well, I guess that was originally a uh, Dreamcast game, right? But there's some games on there that are like the best Sega games ever made, and nobody ever played them because the Xbox people are like, "What am I a loser? I don't play Xbox." I feel like that sentiment didn't come around until like until like the PS4 generation. Honestly, that's what I mean. Like people aren't willing to go back because they are like are haters. Uh, so here's the thing. I get a little nervous here. I was gonna say, like, we're getting close. There's one down there. Yeah, there we go. That's some good paint. Okay. And then, uh... Yeah, what's like two left. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking do it. Because I don't want a repeat of what happened last time, you know you what mean I mean? instead of going for the extra shit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what? I will do this, though. Oh! Nah, fuck that. We got this. Don't fucking send your kaiju hunters after me, man. What if we died? That would be brutal. Yeah. It would be like the end of Godzilla 1998. Spoilers! I didn't say who died. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Matthew Broderick's like, ah. He gets caught I in the you... Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> <sighs> Life moves pretty fast. Ugh. Hakuna Matata. We went for two very different Max Rider girls. <laughs> That's a lot better than Motor. Yeah. You know? Motor doesn't fit this. I don't know why Motor's in here. Pedal, Mo Mo Motor. Motor and Pedal are like really a weird addition to this. Pedal I get, but Motor is like, you know, you can have a jet motor. You can have a nitro motor. Like, you know. Yeah, I know. The Motor is, you got to have a motor for any of those. All right. Except Pedal. Yeah, that's true. But I guess pedaling is a kind of a motor, body motor. I don't know. Motor, motor function. And now, this body motor. Oh my funk. God! What's and wrong with that guy? The pink no His face is less detailed than anyone I've ever met. The devil's contract. Oh shit! What? Hello? Did we just cross into like Shadow Run? All right, so we're fighting demons now. This is supposed uh, to fight in the man. Oh? Huh? Hello? Yo. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's that kid. Yo, it's, Yo. it's all grown yeah. up stinky from Hey Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> this really bites. <laughs> What's the, is he the one who goes... 
No, that's... Those are two different characters. Stinky's the one whose, like, hat is his hair. And his nose ah, comes out of his hat. The the one with the glasses is the breathing kid. Stinky is the one who's, like, just really tall. Yeah. Whoever tags first? So you just gotta okay. beat him to the thing? We're going... Oh, just right there? I think that's... Is that the top of the rooftop? You just want to hit that red path and then dip off, right? Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is where we are. So we're at the river. I guess you can just and watch it. Probably going through the tunnels. I just want like want a picture where we're going. I think we're going to the top of like the the little shanty town. I could be really fucking wrong. Oh, watch out! Yeah. <sighs> Come on, young Alex, let's do this. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Clean. Anyway, I was going to say, I think the Xbox is back. Uh, you might be right about that. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in, in the winds. I'm, I'm picking up my Xbox more. Dude, I have no idea where we're going. I'm think, just, like, moving. Are you on the, like, look at your map. Can you pause during? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. I think we're going the right way. Like, I, I I think there's a... It doesn't look like there's any place that where we're going and where, we're, where we've are where we been are connecting. Yeah, I think we're going this way. I hope we're, like, burning his ass. I hope... I hope he'll never see us again. Who's typing.com? Me. Oh, okay. I'm, uh... Weirdly, I'm just taking notes to remember bands to say. Oh yeah, it's my turn. Fuck, that's right. I keep, I keep, uh, I keep getting on the being on the spot and having to come up with something, and I, I'm like, dude, this sucks. I don't know where we're going, right or left. What the fuck do those two arrows mean? <sighs> okay, I'm pretty sure we're going up here either way, and I'm going this way. I. <sighs> Okay, I hear him. I definitely should have gone the other way. Oh boy. All right. Nope. All right. All right. Are we following him? Almost. So this is the way. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna end up. We're about to be in the shanty town. So I'm just gonna go. What are you on? Macaroni and cheese? <laughs> I'm delicious. You just on a giant. What are, what are those things called? Oh, garbage oh. plate. Okay. 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 Whoa. Oh, what? Hello. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Hold on. It's hold like on. crouching tiger, hidden dragon, right now. I can't jump too. Okay, that's good. Oh, the grinding is like the hotness, huh? I see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dude, he's gonna fucking slide in, isn't he? Oh no, you're good. Nailed it. Dude, that yeah. was close. Someday I'm gonna be a VTuber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. This guy is joining the gang pretty late, huh? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much of the game is left, to be honest with you. I mean, we're in Act Three, baby. What's I his just name? See where he is. Oh, Slate hangs out by the uh, pinball machine. Got it. Okay. Like me. Next time on Beard Bros, we're going to do some uh, more. We're going to play a Slate next time for sure, but I got to give you guys a deep cut. I don't have anything prepared today, so I'm just going to have to, like, think about some some shit. Like, what is, like, a genuine deep cut? <sighs> uh... This is pro okay, so this is probably not a deep cut. It's probably like one of the, I think it's one of the most popular songs, but, but still a lot of people probably don't know about it, okay? This is band called Chicane, I believe it's pronounced C H I C A N E. Okay. Uh, and they have a track, I think it's one of the most popular ones, but it's just very beautiful. Uh, it's, it's high BPM, but at the same time manages to be very smooth and almost serene at times, which is kind of a. It's kind of a, 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 a rare combo. It's hard to achieve that, in my opinion. It's called Saltwater. Just check out Saltwater by Chikane. Uh, I love that shit. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Saltwater. Okay. Mm -hmm. Saltwater by Chikane. 
Love Next it. time on Beard Bros, we're going to Shibuya Cho. I thought we were from Binten. We're not. We're from Shibuya. Shibuya uh, Cho. Yeah. So we're going to go like clean up the hometown next time. Love it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye.